the creation of the piece is so connected directly to uh, this particular uh, soloist, the fantastic musician uh, Jakob. More concretely, the way it is connected to, to Jakob's uh, person, or maybe more Jakob's uh, musicianship, is uh, simply his uh, ability to play uh, the cello uh, as a guitar, uh, which is not a very common um, ability among cellists. So, um, and uh, I think this this very uh, action to pick up the cello and uh, place it uh, on your thigh as a guitar is sort of uh, almost uh, in the essence uh, what this piece is about. Mm. Because it's about different cultures of music, it's about different types of authenticity, uh, of belonging and where things come from, where things move to. another freedom. Also expressively, just to dare to sing when you're not a singer, uh, I feel it has liberated me, actually. My guitar is made out of hair from the horse. There's something about singing, whether you're good or bad at singing, there's a, it's, it just feels so natural. Whereas when we play, there's an, a technical dimension. Especially when it comes to the classical playing, but actually this way of playing guitar and the cello, that's something that I've done without thinking too much about it. So stepping into this world of, uh, of Nils Reinsold's country, um, I'm doing things that I'm doing intuitively uh, that I haven't learned. I'm singing and I don't know how to sing. Mm -hmm. And there's a certain freedom in that, also a freedom from this uh, almost crushing perfectionism. I'd rather be on some dark island where the sun would never shine as for you to be another man's Stalin and to say you'll never be mine. If I think about expression, instead of perfectionism, then I have a chance to do something real. Um, and I think that changes you. Um, it probably changes how you play classical music as well. Um, and then I think this was the, the catalyst for going deeper and further into this kind of personas. You can say, I, I feel that uh, Nils Rønsholdt has uh, understood me on a very deep level. So I feel like normally your job as a performer is to interpret the composer's music, but he has already understood me. So I'm stepping into his version of myself. And that's very interesting. I'd rather be on some dark island Where the sun, 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 He also has this uh, very special voice uh, and a singing voice that is not a, a classical trained one, but that has this very sort of uh, crisp, uh, beautiful quality to it. Um, and you could also say uh, singing a folk song uh, is uh, not always about uh, 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 classical uh, singing technique, it's also about exactly authenticity and, uh, and uh, personality. It's very difficult sometimes to know what exactly changed the, the, the path you're walking down. This definitely was like a, a strong catalyst. 
uh, and I started composing uh, a lot myself. And uh, what I compose is also the interest, at least for that music, is um, trying to find out where I stand in relation to contemporary classical music, indie pop, and maybe free jazz. Um, and when I think about that journey, um, I think that um, I'm moving towards something, so it's not that I'm departing from something. Mm -hmm. I need to learn in what ways must I be, not behave, but become something else on stage for, uh, for this music. This piece is sort of a vehicle for another persona for me. Uh, so I think it has pushed me also to seek more uh, situations where I, I sing. I think that brings a completely different uh, experience for the audience because, uh, first of all, we are talking about a classical audience, but this music, what is it? You know, it is contemporary classical music. It's also, it's definitely contemporary music. It's also um, connected to popular music. So you, you, if you expect the modern cello concert, you are in for a surprise. And then the whole playing technique and the fact that I sing it's it's uh, it's difficult actually to compare it to something.